My name is Kernspecht, uh, Keith Kernspecht, and I'm very happy to see you all here. My English is a little bit rusty because I haven't spoken English for years. Speaks better English than me. This is not just. <laughs> it's just, just by, by the way, this is Bill Newman. <laughs> yeah, in case there is one person here who doesn't know who I am. Uh, about 30 years ago, or was it 28? I was uh, one. Yes. <laughs> no, I was like, no, I mean, 24 years ago. No, I was like, when 20, I met you, yeah. 28 years ago, when I was just born, I, I had the opportunity to learn Wing Chun in England, uh, in, the Chinese, in the Chinatown of London, a long time ago. And now I have the big chance to reintroduce the Learn Thing Wing Chun to England, which gives me a lot of pleasure. And uh, it's a real challenge for me because for me, England is still one of the greatest nations in martial arts. And we do hope that we're going to do a good job here. I'd like to introduce uh, my friends and my team. I've introduced already, or he has introduced himself. <laughs> yes, well, of course. Mr. Bill Newman. Uh, by the way, also a former Wing Chun man who's done Wing Chun how many years ago? Um, say it before me, I hate this. <laughs> when did you start? Well, did you? Okay, well it was just after him. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> and now he does the second best screen. <laughs> no, so <laughs> sort of drifting away from it. Okay. Yeah, so and uh, uh, while we are introducing the screamer long. people, this is uh, Steve Tappen. Uh, you, you, you may know him because he's doing lots of things for us here in, in England. Okay, I'd like to introduce to you, uh, I leave off the Sifus because everybody I'm introducing now is nearly a Sifu. I introduce to you Amy Bullstaple, the sixth degree Wing Chun, uh, Chief Instructor, USA. <laughs> charge of Ireland. And uh, I'm not at fifth level who is in charge of Scotland. Um, from the castle gym, and who also will be some kind of visiting instructor for England, is uh, Heinrich Pfaff. <laughs> Heinrich Pfaff and his partner, uh, Thomas Hartmann, are giving the first demonstration. <laughs> and then I'd like you to meet Roland Liebscher Brecht, fourth level. and his team is going to give the second demonstration and he is in charge of Wing Chun for Health together with his wife, Dr. Brach. Where is she? Yeah. Hmm. Such a long list. And from Austria uh, comes our man, Oliver König, who is in charge of Wing Chun Marketing. Tom Yu Ming. <laughs> Tom Yu Ming is already teaching in London and you can always refer to him. We're happy that he's here. Sivu um, Klaus Schulz from Staffordshire. Mick, 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 
Jane. It's a nice name. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to introduce to you Ronald Butler. Yeah. Ronald is a castle trained Wing Chun instructor and he is also our official translator and he is going to coordinate our work in Britain. <coughs> I introduce to you from Denmark uh, Alan Jensen, Lars Lynn and Henning Daverne. comes out in six languages and he's also responsible for this. He's responsible for everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything on his shoulders, right? He okay. has to work a lot. That's why he's so thin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And from Colum oh from Colombia. Where's that? Uh, from Colombia, <laughs> Andy Bursic. <laughs> Ting Wing Chung 
is self-defense and combat in its purest form. Its techniques are absolutely unique. A WT man or woman fights by feeling. Physical contact with the opponent automatically releases trained reflexes. These provide the direct effectiveness of this martial art. Only in this way can the WT fighter use the attacker's strength and turn it against him. WT means being able to tense and relax specific muscles anywhere and at any time. This skill provides an unequaled feeling of well-being. The ability to move well becomes the ability to fight effectively. The necessary ability to relax the muscular system is also the basis for good health. In Loin Ting Wing Chun, improved fighting ability therefore goes hand in hand with improved health. In WT Qigong, the health promoting system in Loin Ting Wing Chun, optimizing the condition of the muscular system and consequent improvement in physical and mental well-being is a central aspect of the training. Loin Ting Wing Chun the most effective of all self-defense systems, and WT Qigong, the art of healthy movement, therefore share the same basis. A functional muscular system capable of the finest motor movements and targeted relaxation. A musculature in peak physiological condition. Perhaps tomorrow, in a street, somewhere.
Chung believe is a magnetic zone field. So everybody has a personal, uh, individual magnetic zone, which uh, depends on the distance. Let's say if somebody wants to kick you, but the longest weapon is probably the side kick. Because the most stretch is the longest weapon. Punch is probably the boxing jet. It's the longest. So let's say he gives me a side kick. So man, he needs to come at least there to, to kick me and to hurt me maybe a little closer, so like this, okay? So if he jumps around out this area, out of this area and kicks around there, so I'm quite relaxed because he can't really hurt me or bring me in any trouble. If you kick there, so it doesn't, doesn't care, I can stay the way I want. So if he comes closer and I get a little bit funny, I have my, just closer. Do you speak English anyway? <laughs> okay, just prepare, but no matter what he does, if you understand the footwork and Wing Chun with the pressure and all the stuff, we talk a little bit, uh, or I explained you a little bit earlier on. So the position of Wing Chun, basically, I, I explained you, if you don't have the pressure together, just you turn up your hips. It's basically nothing else than like this. This is what has happened, right? So you just squeeze your knees, and your lower part of your body is tense all the time, in a relaxed way. So if you later on start to feel shaking, your legs, it's perfect. So. What's meant, the lower part is like a an, an bow is ready to shoot. It's already extended and waiting. Your upper part is very relaxed. No matter what he tries to do, so you're already ready to attack. He, no matter which step, punches, kicks, grapples, whatever, he needs to prepare. So the magnetic zone field is the distance, let's say, you give me the side kick. The one thing is very good, if somebody can kick you, you definitely can kick him. No matter how tall he is, even a small person can kick straight when he gives a, a side kick to him, being attacked like this, okay? So if he can touch me, I can touch him. This is the natural physics. This is the basics. No matter what he does, this magnetic zone field helps with one of our first concepts, not to anticipate the move of your enemy because you can't. So we don't fight visual except in the beginning. As soon as the fight starts, <coughs> There's no time for visual reactions. Everything is too fast. So when he jumps around there, no matter what he was, wants to do, he wants to attack, he needs to prepare, I mean. Because I'm already there to attack. So I don't need to step first, prepare. He needs to step first, you see? That's what he needs first to attack me. No matter he wants to punch me or grab me, he needs to step first. And this is what we call magnetic zone field. He steps into that area when he can't touch me. So over there, I don't care. If you keep from there, just from there, kick. See, I'm not in danger. If you kick me for real, boom. So in this case, I don't care what he wants to do. Because he moves, I attack him. So his first movement is preparation. My first movement is an attack. So we don't waste any time for that, OK? So once you understand the concept, just with the simple Wing Chun steps and chain punches, you can <coughs> defeat the most non-Wing Chun attacks, like say, Thai boxing attacks. We don't mind anything against Thai boxing, Taekwondo, Karate boxing. Don't misunderstand when I say this, because just for the, the beginners, when we say Thai boxing, people know what that means, like a roundhouse kick, or boxings like jabs and hugs and uppercuts, stuff like this, okay? If you say grappling, it could be anything. So the style, we don't care about styles or methods or systems, okay? So just what we try to do to provide somebody who comes to our school to give them the realistic chance to defend them against all kinds of attacks. <coughs> so it really doesn't matter, take one or karate. We don't care about these things. Okay, so you understand. So the first, whatever he does, first thing you always try with a, with a circle step. Let's say he wants to give me a, a snap kick like in karate or something, you just do this. You don't need to block. First of all, you have to understand, you can't block a stronger that a kick is much stronger than my arm. First, second, these don't work. Scientifically, if he gives me like a <coughs> my Gary or something, this is what you see in books. You kick me fast. So he kicks against my arm, look. Because he doesn't kick the target. It looks fantastic. If he would really kick the target, <coughs> kicks my little brain down there. <laughs> <laughs> now my arm is too short. Scientifically, blocks doesn't work, you see? But in most demonstrations, kick. They are here. So he kicks against my forearm, but it's not a block. But because he kicks my arm, he doesn't kick the target. So we don't believe in these, these things. Everything below our genitals, we don't block or, or try to touch with the hand.
So any of my knees, you kick, just kick. You see, my circle step, which is like, like a wedge. See, any force, look, I, I make like uh, the same foot moves each time. If it gives me a knee kick here, so my energy goes forward. If it gives me a kick with the other cross kick, if it kicks me over here, just kick, don't worry, just kick. See, I'm safe or cross kick over here. I'm always safe or snap kick. I still use the same foot. Or even a rather tight kick. Or from this side. So you can't reach me because I'm not there. So it's very important that you learn less resistant, much as possible protection while you attack. So basically, we don't teach you self-defense, we teach you self-offense. Okay? You know the oldest saying, the best defense is your own attack. Yeah? You can choose boxing, whatever. You probably learn something like this. Hey, you. <laughs> right? So if you're tough, you can take it, but maybe the other person is not tough. It's not good for, her, for him or her. Okay, so you have always has the fight visual. So if, if you fight, which, which I'm going to next stage is hands. Okay, so look, you always protect the same wedge, triangle concept you have here, you have up here. So what I always say, you have a three-dimensional protection shield in front of you. If you take your upper body from your groin to the top of your head, this is your vital organs. If you divide in a uh, vertical midline and a horizontal midline, this is approximately your solar plexus. This is the center point. From here, a straight line goes straight to your enemy, any kind. Doesn't matter the size, your center line grows with a, with a uh, tall or uh, short, whatever the enemy is. So the small guy is here, <coughs> is the guy, tall guy is here. Why? So let's say you have a, you have a small guy. Can you go on your knees, please? I love this position. So <laughs> don't call him Monica. I'm not Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey. I have to hear this every day in California. <laughs> if, he, if I stay like my center line would be st uh, straight, he could hit my tummy. I couldn't even touch him, you see? It's a big angle. That's, that's why my center line drops to his. Now, if he wants to hit me again, I can go forward and be protected, even if smaller, you see? Now, it, let's say it's Michael Jordan. Uh, you like this one, right? <laughs> now, the same here. If I keep my center line my own level, so he has all the angle to hit me. But if I lift up to his angle, now if he punches me, so I can go in, you see, I'm protected and he can't touch my tummy because this is too far away for him. So you understand a little bit about the center line for in, in the WT. Now this is very important. Now if you look at frontally, so we have basically the, the, the width from elbow to elbow. You have the depth from your fingertip to your elbow. Okay, and then you have the height from your highest point to your lowest. So which Great, if you have an imaginary line from the top of your head, top of your finger to the manza, you have one imaginary line and one here to your groin. So now, of course, if he stays in a manza wuza position in our system, if he doesn't move at all, you can hit him very easy. Now, this is where we put our one in our concept, one of our first active movements. So if he moves in, <coughs> the arms move forward, so which creates pressure, which you need to make a wedge work. No pressure, no wedge. Okay, the same as we here. So the same concept we exactly have here for the lower part. Okay, but more important, of course, is your upper part because of the vital organs. But we still care about our legs, okay? So most people, they don't care, give me a kick, they be like, boom, and they're tough. 25, 26 year old, they're gone. Everything's broken, so we don't want this. Everything you see in Wing Chun, the distance, we have no blocks at all. So, Everything is a hindered attack. So if he's very close and he gives me a kick from here, I can do what we call bongurk or japker or he kicks over here. I try to kick him, but he's so fast, I was so slow that he hindered my kick, which turns in this position. Same with my punch. If I punch, he's very strong. He will push my arm and something like this, but the arm is still active, trying to move forward unconsciously. Okay? So same concept here and there again. If the distance to open, and he kicks me, whatever, so you're not going to try to do this. Because this would not work for a woman or a smaller man against a really hard kicker. So the same thing. Remember in your legs, he, he kicks you. <coughs> you just kick, or he kicks you this way. You can always use him. 
So you're not standing there and anticipating. <laughs> right? So you understand how you can't do that. So very important, everything is an attack. Now, if you understand this concept, you already have the bridge for the two distances, which is the most dangerous to get in. So now, doesn't matter, later on, for me, I have no problem how expert in kicking, spinning back kicks, whatever you try to do, <coughs> because I'm in before you can do anything. So I don't care about what kind of a tool he's going to use to hurt me. <coughs> if I'm too slow, he kicks, or spinning back kick or whatever, you can always do these things. Second, if you're a little late. you much later, he kicks you high, you don't know. You can always use your techniques according to the concept, but still, if your footwork is good, for a beginner, so what I'm telling is basically people like other Wing Chun styles, or guests here, or new, new first timers in Wing Chun, if you know your footwork, you pay the first three months of work, I'm not using any technique, kick me please. Just simple steps, or, or he wants to grab me or whatever. I'm here, grab me again. It's all footwork, so you don't see bongs or chums or you don't see any kind of techniques. Actually, we don't sell you guys or teach you guys techniques neither. So if you understand everything, it's just motion. Relaxed, forward energy. If somebody comes, bends your arm, fine. You go back into this, like a feather. So you don't have a chance of bones. These things don't exist later. Sounds a little bit complicated. But as soon as you have any resistance, any kind of thing like blocks, then it's not for Wing Chun, not for women. It's not learning system. Anything that's no resistance is Wing Chun writing system, okay? So, of course you can do all this beautiful stuff for shows. We have to create things like you saw this morning, that you do this thing so you can show everything in a performance. But for real, you have to crash the guy because of afraid, of uh, fear, okay? <coughs> I can show you a couple of demos. Kick me anything. They are doing very simple. If you guys the hammer kick, what he try? I don't know what he's going to do, right? So you can always go, but the important is to balance. If you don't have the pressure, you just lose, because most people don't understand how can we stay on the rear foot. Very important, everything you learn in CM Tower, which means little idea, there's not one big little idea, there's lots of little ideas. Every motion, every little bit has an own little idea in it, okay? So this is what you learn here, it's the most important. If there's any secret, it's in your footwork. So even I step in, <laughs> Sweep my foot. Look, I'm always here. I'm not keep my, uh, just pick my foot. Oh. Power. Mm. Even he moves, I'm not shaking. I can punch all the time. See? So I'm not fighting for my balance. If I would have like some people do 60, 40, if I do this, now I'm very vulnerable. He can attack me because I have to fight for my balance. So very important. Now when I show you, it's because of my pressure. Sweep. Move, 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 my, move my foot. So you can also do these things, but it's not, again, it's not active. When you feel, so I'm not trying to sweep my foot. Okay, if, I, if I feel a little too, too strong, more than my pressure is, no, fake my. I just let it go, you see? Just let it go, just let it pass his foot. But I'm not doing it myself. I'm not lifting up here. Go, take a leak and then move on. <laughs> All right, but then you're going over the other one, you don't want that in. Now, also with the footwork, because this is important, otherwise you can't close the gap. This is our position. Your rear knee is hidden behind the front knee, so you have a wedge as you have it here. Once you're in your opponent, we do not stand, <coughs> it's not our pre-fighting position. And it's just with Manza, was I'm Fusfa. The problem is, look, I can kick him, he can't even touch me. So if he gives me a round toss kick, See? Now, stay, don't move that foot, again. Don't move that foot, look. I'm still here. Kick me from there again. <laughs> now, you see the distance? So, my head is still here. Now, I, I don't give him a target. This is our pre-fighting position. Now, if, if you kick me, what do you have to do? So, excuse me. <laughs> so, you need to come closer so I can hit him, right? But before, I couldn't do it. Okay. Okay. Now, you see the distance? Now. That's it, so I can touch him too. <laughs> Remember? So it's the same concept for against kicks, also against when you really you stay like this, 
to force him come into the fist distance. Okay? Otherwise, he's going to dance. So we don't care. We don't run after people. If he's, let's say, over there, jumps around, we just don't care. You want something, you come. <laughs> so he needs to attack. If not, you're very, in that case, you're very passive. Right? Very passive, so we don't want trouble. So whatever he does, uh, okay, give me a hammer kick. Everything is diagonal. You just go straight and give me a round toss kick. Give me a snap kick. No matter what he does, give me a spinning back kick. Spinning back kick, spinning back fist. So get the foot forces with your dread. Also, then you See, I'm always in. Either one of them, kick or back fist. Mm -hmm. So I'm always here, I'm always in. So once you end, you crash the guy. You don't give him space at all to move. So which means you disable a kicker, any kind of a kicker or a boxer or puncher. So once he attacks me, go. Can you punch me? Yeah. Punch, 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 kick. So I push him in a position, even though he wants to do elbow. Give me elbow. My distance is always here. Now he's maybe in a position to throw me. Love me. <laughs> yeah, the problem is most grapplers have forgot about the hands of the enemy. And the enemy, or in this case against the grappler, the enemy doesn't know how to use their limbs. Okay? As long as a human built the way we are, there's only one, one way to fight. It's using these limbs. The question is how you use it. How you use it. Some people are this, some people and some people take one little kickboxing, some people grab you. Hey, please! <laughs> Again, it's nice. All lovely, all the philosophy, everything. Beautiful. But as an individual, I'm more interested in saving my face, my nose, everything, okay? This is more my concern than doing nice movements. It has to be logical, <coughs> rational. Okay, all the motions have to be very economical. Save me time. Generally, most people, they work, what? Manufacturers, offices, they work five to six days a week. They have maybe twice, if they're lucky, three times a week or two hours or an hour and a half to train. So they can jump ropes, they can do all these things, but you know how long it's gonna to take to learn something, any style they do? So Wing Chun, we don't need this. If you start with Wing Chun, you stop the class with Wing Chun on the first day <coughs> out. The most simple stuff, after one class, intensively doing chin punches, doing the footwork, will help you to, to go to this, this gap. It's mo most important. Once you know this, then we can start to show you skill more, more techniques. But this is a high skill already. <coughs> when you start Wing Chun, this is what we show. And in the middle level, you do lots of cheese, lots of technique, and you guys will be lots of confused because so much information. The higher you go, the less you will use them again. Because your body is ready to perform at any time, an incoming force will push your limbs in any direction. You're not the sadness anymore. So you will become a circle back to them what you learned the first day. Because I'm very high ranking and I don't want to show him my bongsa or my farsa or my nice chamsa. I don't care. If he attacks me, I want to <laughs> hit him before he hits me. With the most protection and less resistance as possible. Because for that, you need to be very flexible. Okay? Any questions still here? So when you understand this, then you don't need to go in this theory game. Yeah, what if I do this, if I do that? Because I don't care. Try it. I knock you out, you try. It's very simple. <coughs> okay? What I'm explaining to you guys is not Amy and Boss Debbie, don't mistake. It's a belonging sister. I'm a human, I'm beatable. I try my best to survive till today, but again, it's about the efficiency of this sister, which makes me who I am, end of the day. I can do boxing, wrestling, I would always go home like this. <laughs> right? <laughs> 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 I think I look a little bit more pretty than that. <laughs> because I have the protection I need while I attack the guy before he attacks me. You understand now? It's about the system. It's not about the person. But humans always like to 
pinpoint somebody, hey, I want to be this guy. But why is this guy so good? Because the system behind him is so good. Which gives me all the chances. So this means everyone <coughs> in our organization has the chance. My Sifu was one of the first in the world to climb up. Everybody was in front of him. I have the same chance in his organization. Everybody has a chance still to go on top of me <coughs> one day. You know, like, so it's not, everything is open. The person who understands the concepts and works hard will achieve his aim. Very, very simple. Okay? It's all about yourself. And this is the same thing for self-defense. If you're really interested to protect yourself, you're not going to jump around. You're not going to make a nice movement on the back. You're going to look something that's rational, fast, and, and effective. Okay? So, now, again, combination. A lot of people go... Wow, what do you do against combination? The same thing again. If you let it happen, if you're getting this space for, you can box, you can combine. Right? But again, he needs to come in. Come in, combine. Hey, where's your combination? <laughs> now, even though I'm not using my skill, I'm just still first student level. First and second student program, what, you, what I'm showing you guys. And he has already trouble. Okay? So, it doesn't matter if you want to use more, if you box, <laughs> so you can go more. So now, he can't even use his elbows, nothing. So he's, he's, he only can grab on it. Once you understand the pressure, let me bring this. Mm -hmm. I already locked it. <laughs> I give him all my weight by unbalance, you see? Because I have my pressure. My hands are always free, I'm never going to hold it. One of our principles, if you hold, you can hurt. If I hold him, I can punch him. And it's the only chance for a weaker person to keep constantly hitting him. Same spot. Wrestling, bring me under. Hit. Yeah. Now he can't even wrestle me. <laughs> you understand now the idea? But, if I go... <laughs> Any question the first two distance, kick and punches. Good. Elbow knees. Even we here, I go back to the wrestling later, I'll grab it. If you're here, he grabs your knee and neck, try to give you whatever. Let's say I'm here, you grab me, he takes the punches, he's a tough guy, and try to do his tie boxing. Give me knee. If I have my pressure here, he has no space. If you lift this up his leg, so now it's here. Now again, one of the offenses of the launching system in the world, using your limbs at the same time, many of them, right? Not just focusing on the knee. If he grabs me here, I'm here, give me knee, I'm not gonna do. Go. All right, so if he gives me the knee, bam! Well, I'm working down here. I'm working upstairs, so. He will never have 100% focus behind any of his attacks because he's fighting for his balance. Because I'm able to assist him, to use my lamps, to limbs, to keep him busy up there and down there. And because of the contact, attack me, because of that, I already locked all his weapons. I control all his hands. Try to kick me, <laughs> lift that leg. Now he's just switch, switch his uh, weight, right? Punch me. Punch me, see? I'm my lip. This is what you guys call the needle. Cheese or whatever. I will come to that too. Punch. See? Whatever. He drops his hand. Punch. I'm always here. My, all my energy goes to his face. And what we teach you in the end of the day is not fist fighting or leg fighting. It's man fighting. His brain wants to hurt me. These are just tools. And the most other times, punch. They want to do this. They want to hurt the tool. Or even some other Wing Chun people, right? Yeah. Mama Fetch, Chatzo. You see things like this. Look, the energy goes there. And blowing thing, the energy goes there. So everything is focused on the captain. Once you got the captain, the soldiers are out of control, right? <laughs> Do you understand the concept, the concept of the law? Good. So whatsoever, you know how to get in with our basic movements, basically. And from A to B, a lot of things can happen. Let's say, look. <coughs> I pu you punch me very fast, okay? Go. Did you see a bong there? Punch me really hard. Come on, I can look at it. Anybody see a bong Yeah. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? I can look. 
Did you see a bongo? But there is. The problem is this with people that want they call that techniques. And this is for people that like to fish in seminars, a little bit here, a little bit there, they go home and, and they have lots of ideas. But they can't feel fight at aim to reach the aim. It's never possible because they already know too much. You know, um, I call these people that know much but can't can do it smart ass. <laughs> so what, what I mean is if you go and you say, look, let's say I'm a Wing Chun teacher, he's my Sifu, right? For for well I, I'm following him for ten years. And he shows me this, okay, hit me. <coughs> so I beat everybody, one day somebody comes and <coughs> oh, oh Sifu, didn't work, your stuff doesn't work. And so Sifu goes back, hey, so that guy attacked me. Look, works on with me. So there's something wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> show me slowly again, Sifu. Show me. So the Sifu goes very slowly. Ba, 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 now, picture by picture. Now you stop the picture. So you, <laughs> Sifu was like, what's happening? What's this? What's this? You have never shown me this. Hey, I showed you. We just didn't look. <laughs> Punch me. Look. It's there. You just watch. <laughs> what, what I'm saying is now, you have to stop the whole motion. In the middle, people see this. What is this? I don't know. Let me see what's happening. Punch me slowly. Oh, he's bending my arm. Whoa, what would you call it? Okay, let's give a, give a name. Well, it's a swinging arm, right? He swings my arm. So this is the name. Let's say Wing Chun would not be developed in China, it would be here. Now you go to Hong Kong teach Chinese. Oh, my swinging arm. <laughs> <laughs> Just a name. Doesn't change on the scientific concept and motion at that time. Doesn't change anything. It's just a name. Now what's happened? The student's gonna go there. Wow, so! He has a pocket full of technique. Now he goes and works with this. Now the student, same thing. Head, but now the punch, he punch me inside, punch me here, okay, very fast. <coughs> Did you guys see some chums or something like that? Tons of anyone see something? Same thing. Five seconds. Hey, hey, he changes direction. It doesn't work when he hits me this way. Slow down, okay. Boom. <laughs> Same thing again. Called chamizo, sinking elbow, right? Because his elbow is being forced to sink. So another technique. What's happened? His pocket is full. Now he knows so much. This is, by the way, your brain, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying, right? Close. Now you're, you're going for a real fight. Now the guy attacks you and go like. I have to see what I'm going to use. <laughs> <laughs> Hands are no good. Chums are no good. So what they, you don't have time to make a decision which you want to use. So that's why we believe in four principles. Each arm, you can put four, four, or four uh, directions on it. And if you put both in a bigger sense picture, same here. So if this is indoor, you have a lot of uh, inside and outside of the indoor and the same outside. So if you're here and I go forward, can his, his force can push me over this side or this side, the same from the inside, you see? So in a wider picture, it's both my whole arm. So if it goes on this side, you see? This could happen. Or if he pushes this way, still this could happen. So you have the same re reflexes on this side. Reflexes, we do cheese up to implant them. That you still <coughs> attack without pre-arranging your movements. That's the whole, whole uh, uh, job, the duty of Chizo. So Chizo is no fight. A lot of people, let's turn this way a little bit. I'm going to do this. You attack me. <coughs> so I'm going to pose. <coughs> Can you see them this way? So they're all pre arranged. So you don't have, if you attack me very fast, I don't know what I'm going to attack. I'm, I'm able to absorb his force, not change his direction. Look, if I stay in front of him, okay, attack me very fast. See, I still let him go. I am here. So I knew, I use my sense of touch of my arms with the pressure and I feel the attacks to push myself away and let him pass and kiss my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Any attack? 
Okay, you just can hit him, do whatever you want to do. And you control him, you're here. If he pushes from here, you always hear whenever I push again. Maybe this can happen, you see? It doesn't matter. So whatever his force is, you go with the force. Not against, but your energy still goes to his center line. And when you hear him being chung, we fight frontally. And many Wing Chun people mistaken, they think they give me punches. Ah, I fight frontal. <laughs> right? You see a lot of people doing that. Again, this means if you attack me, I'm out of his center line, but he's always on mine. See, I'm frontal towards him. He's on frontal, but I'm not in front of him. This is what a lot of people don't understand. So this means, again, the most secret is here. To close all the gaps, no five distance is your footwork. If you can't move, you become a target. What is happening with target? They shoot it, right? <laughs> Very simple. If you can't move, if you block, you do this, just like. Maybe you have this, you can't move out, you back and forth, one line fighter. They're going to catch you sooner or later. And you need to be fit and young. So, now, knee, elbow, everything you have here. Let's say I'm going in, I, I survive the knee and elbow, and all of a sudden he grabs and throws me. Go. Maybe this. Go, do it. So I'm always my pressure. Oh, he does a grand judo throw. Come, just throw. Throw me. Because of my position of my foot, I have no weight still. Throw me. Because of my pressure on his knees. You guys can't see, and this is what it is. No video, no book in the world can teach you. That's why you need an instructor. All these books and videos are very important, but then in the end of the day, you can't without an instructor. This is something you can't teach in books and videos, okay? So you need, the books are good to get the information, and you can learn it from your uh, teacher. Oh, maybe they are the snakes. I don't like a book, say a nugget. Now you all your symptoms, everything you learn, you can use. Everything you want to do, okay? Because not able. And, and you are in this very long time, jujitsu, stuff like this. So it's not somebody that doesn't know. <coughs> see? I'm not leaning forward. If I would sit like this, so, see? Very easy to lift me. Lift. <coughs> very easy. So my hand is all the time. See, I can do everything, eh? Even he's strong with this, I can't do that, too. Okay, still hit him. Just step back and he's right where I want him. Okay? So, <coughs> this against the throws or whatsoever. If, I, uh, if I'm here and he goes all of a sudden behind me. Throwing behind me, I said. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need the rest to waste my energy. What the problem with the most common styles is, because they don't have a center line. Here's the grappler. Ah, so now my Omar weapon's gone. So I, I look like him. I hold, I rest on this, what you, he wants to do. No matter what you do. And then becomes incest, grappler against grappler anyway. So Wing Chun is different. Because of your concepts, center line theory, and all the stuff I mentioned, if you want to grab me, first of all, first of all, listen. I don't attack if he's in my range. If you're over there, I don't care. I'm active in the beginning when he moves, but he got to move in, move in. I don't make the mistakes, and then he can't get in. So you're not like, and you would do the same thing because you try to anticipate, okay? So if I'm here, he attacks me. Okay, another Christmas tree. Okay, go. Almost larger. Go from there, go down. Go down, on your knees. Just jump on there. Go. Go. Even he grabs me, bring me down. Bring me down. Very difficult. I don't hit his skull. I hit all his nerves, I hit his neck. It's very painful. And then what you have to understand is, the way we punch. Are you okay? Fuck on. <laughs> the way we punch is very relaxed. So most people have with a close wrench, they can't punch the 
fists are swollen and break their thumbs and stuff like this. Of course, they have a <coughs> very well, what's that? stiff form of a punch or fist. They're very, very like this. You do these things just to relax your wrist. So it's like you have a bird in your hand and you don't squeeze. The ship goes down, head goes up. <laughs> <laughs> like you hold the bird here. You don't want to let it go. Just so, very relaxed. So, no matter what you do, but even I hit him, most people always say, oh, in his videos, are, he's like this. My first is very fast, I don't want to hurt him. Second, even I punch like this, look, my open hands. So I'm not squeezing, yeah? So I don't, <laughs> 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 so it doesn't, doesn't hurt me anyway, because once you know this stuff, you're very relaxed. Your joint works for you, not against you. So, even, you haven't chunked your punch like this, whatsoever. If I'm here, if you turn this face down, go up, no, just the face, not the upper body. Face down, look, up, back, 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 to left, like a magnet to the other side. Mm -hmm. So if, if you have a board, you, you see, I mean, I like this. Okay, you have something very heavy and hard, I can't break, I will break it, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> when I have the video, I will punch a hole through. No. <laughs> Give me that roll. Yes. But this is what you mostly see, why people hurt their fist. Very strong. I will hit a punch through this without me losing it and, and making no scratch on it. You will see. Hey, I can't focus. performance and demos, stage stuff, right? You don't have the time <coughs> to make your enemy's face flat and just position the way you want. <laughs> That's what I'm basically saying. These are nice demos, but I don't know what for. Because the face is not flat. You can hit his round, you can do this on your work, then you punch like this. Most boxers or professional poker on the karate do the head problem with this because of overextending already here. If you hit like this and he turns his face over there, Ouch. So that's why it's very relaxed. No matter how I punch, as soon as I touch your turn, understand? My force goes through, you see? It doesn't, doesn't hurt me. And this goes like, if you do this, see? Even I miss, it doesn't hurt my joints. Or my, okay? That's a very important, or, now what's the best thing, if a close range, you see, yeah, you're grappling. <laughs> and if you push pressure, even this doesn't work. Push pressure on me. Because the way you stay, you have no... So what you want to do? Build up your balance or you want to hit? So one doesn't go with the other. So you need the balance first. You have power. Push me. Now I can move. Now I have power. You got it? But if I'm like this, and he's heavier than I, push me. But if he's heavy and I'm here, push me. So I just can... That's it. Because higher you stand, of course with the pressure, more flexible you are. The deeper you stand, unflexible. Even if you think you're strong, but you're unflexible. So, now the next thing is, let's say the guys really go close to you. Grab me. Look. And punch this face. Let's say, see up. Grab me, excuse me. I can punch very hard. I don't want to do it now. I'm strong. Right? I can very punch. I'm turn. So you have all these punches. If it's this way, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Whatever, even if my hand is here, don't move too. I can punch this way, you see? So it doesn't really matter. So if I'm here, he's on my side. Yeah. I can punch hard enough to break his nose. Or he's here. Nice. Go and hurt it. It doesn't matter his face is here. But once you know all this stuff, you can punch. Understand the form. You know, all our secrets in our form. And, and I think they look quite different than the other people's. 
you can apply them, but first you need to understand. Once you understand, then you understand the concepts and all the stuff, you can fight writing system. Defend yourself, right? So, whatsoever. Now you get also on the ground, let's say, oh well, somebody pulls you, you lose your balance, no matter, you're not the best. I understand all this stuff, so you're like the average person. And again, people fall in <coughs> trap to discuss with others, oh yeah, well, I uh, think that this guy is so okay with this guy, I don't know. Again, you people are not going to fight Mike Tyson for any, any name you imagine is famous. But you go after work, the next pub, rush hour, you have your after hour beer or whatever, there's a guy who's going to grab your girlfriend's ass, you got to fight him. <laughs> and this is what we choose made for, not for you people, okay? Because people have always these funny ideas, right? So, now let's say whatsoever. If I'm here, let's say he grabs my leg and brings me down to the floor. I'm not trying to hold, okay? He push me down. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm here. My leg's always contact. I'm not trying to hold the ladies. Before I do this jiu-jitsu stuff, I don't make you all fall flat on your back and your, your air is gone. And, right? You hear, so even, now next to what he wants to do, come get close to me. Right? So if he jumps around, Go, just, just the first student level, fast. Go fast, go fast, fast, fast. I can't slow, I can kick him. If he gives me tire kicks, so I can kick him. It doesn't matter. If he holds my foot, grabs, I can, all the stuff I have in my fore. Remember this stuff, or whatever, I do this. I can bring him down, thank you. Make sure, this way, this way, kick him, or... All the stuff you do in the floor, <coughs> see, everything with the hand works here. All the same concepts, so you don't need to change your concept. Well, most style, they do grappling, they have to change, they do boxing, they have to change, it's the same thing. If he pushes my leg over there, the spring is there, you see, hand pack coming. I just let him pass, he turns me, you see, like a bongzao turn or bong tazao turn. Now he needs to get up, I can kick him or if I'm Enough, I'm protected, I can get up here, see? You go just very easy over him and just pick the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, you learn how to fall, you do a step, boom, you learn how to get up, kick, without using your hands, and protect your face while you're getting up. Very easy, no force. See, very easy. You don't need to do this, okay? So you learn only stuff, beginner. Second is making the circles, grabbing you, pushing you aside. And the next one is for, for three, he pushes me, steps halfway in. Go, go in. Just maybe, maybe you kick him here, see? Just to bring him down before he gets in, before he can really, with this whole force, so that the other program, eh? Or you push him, okay, go, go. And then do these things, always ready to kick. In this case, you're, this is a long extension manzo, like a manberg. This both are like a substitute for wuzo, because it's not a punch, it's this whole weight. The whole physique is like a punch now. You need a little stronger manzo. Okay? So, that's right there. So you get all this, <coughs> let's say you push him, you can catch him, whatever. You can catch him maybe here. You can do this, you can do this, or he pushes this way, this way, or straight kick. Okay? You can do all this still in the, in the third student program. The next one, if he pushes me, this one, this one jumps in. In my hands, again. Okay? I'm always free. I'm, not, I'm showing you because I'm not moving with them to show you. I'm not, I don't need them really. But they're always ready to hit. I let this force go this way, not on top of me. So I'm not trying to pull them. Now, once you learn this, <laughs> jump again. Now look at my hands now. So I shoot him, I hit his throat, whatever. As soon as he comes close, I can hit him. And still be with him, you see? If he wants to get up, I can kick him before I get up. Okay? I'm on top of him anytime I want. So let's say so this is the same like in cheese out over the four concepts, left, he pushes me left or right. Okay? Let's say look. Like push me out. So he can boom, you see, I got him over here. Okay, or push me up, but you change the direction this way. You see? Both ways. The same, same technique, but both sides. Now you push me from the outdoor. 
Jump straight on me. Right, let him go this way. Or the same thing. He pushes me out though, but crosses my body. See, like a bongo. I can get I'm gonna talk off him. Very good You see? Each time I roll one, one momentum more, I'm top of him. Of course, later you drill this stuff. You get up. What's up? Jump my line. <laughs> okay, he pulls me up and lands. Very easy, okay? Just hard work. So, now the last part is, I think you guys call it tackling. Right? Tackle? So let's say he is either between your legs or here. I'm not going to use my hands, go down. Now let's say we're in this position. Okay, he's already that close, so I can't use his force in the sense of running into me. He tries to mount me or get me in a headlock, go. Here you go. <coughs> I just show you how I can use my lip to hurt him, you see. I can always use a kick and go ahead, continue. So I'm not using any force. And my coffee while he's doing stuff. <laughs> I'm very relaxed here, I'm not stiff. Just like you understand Jesus. <coughs> if he moves, he turns me move. Okay, just the same thing. Later on. <coughs> Try again, you have your hands. <laughs> <laughs> if he comes close, I use it. Come on, your hand. Go. The modern version of Italian spaghetti with an implanted spring. <laughs> <laughs> Always put one leg in front of I'm not stiff, look, if I do it very strong, then you can turn me, right? So it's very, very like, <laughs> very like, uh, very like uh, cheese. So it's, it's all same concept. You're standing, you're like, you're on top of the guy, you're underneath the guy. You're flying in the air by parachutes, underwater. Why things in swim space for So, now, I have like 10 minutes to cool Okay, now, what you have to understand is, it's a, oh, <laughs> Now, I want you to do that, so. Again, what my Sifu said early on this morning. Lazo, a lot of people mistake when you lots out, they're like all of us, boom, they're like this apart. But this has nothing to do with Wing Your students are always smaller, less fast probably, less skilled than you. So and that's why it's very important that you teach a student where the importance is. Fine here, you give me a low kick, I show Wing Chun. All of us and doesn't look so good. But if we can't keep up, I can make Thai boxing look good because he doesn't understand what I'm doing. So you have to emphasize the learning system because it is wonderful. If you kick me, the same concept, just close range and that's it. That's it. Give me a kick. So you know, you move diagonal in. If I'm slow and he opens up, I'm so close that he can't hit my leg. You see? That's why the jump curve happens. Because I'm too slow. He forces my leg in something we call jump curve. Then you can kick. But if he jumps away further, so I can't keep him my kick when I'm following. You got the picture? Now, you can put everything. I'm playing just for now. Not the Wing Chun guys. This is our neutral position. Give me your hand. <laughs> But again, now let's say it's the fight over. I did not punch him, now I'm the wrestling. 
But it's still a low. I am not in the right position to hurt him really. Can you punch me? <laughs> yeah, punch. You see? He doesn't know it. Because he, he doesn't practice the, the concepts. But if he knows the concepts, he just keeps punching. So I'm losing it. Now you see? So this is the idea. Make you guys aware of these things. So if I'm doing Chung Gai, then you everything else. Come on. He doesn't have the space to do anything. Now, before you see all the jet kondo stuff, everyone jet kondo. Why this look good and why it works and why it doesn't work, I explain it to you. Because it's the mid-level distance, right? So, the big snoop max no pucks out, right? You see the people doing this. <laughs> Jitkundo people do. When I'm here, you do Jitkundo. Just a simple straight punch, anything you want to do. Grab me hand, left trap me, put the bush card not. Do the next move, next move. Mm -hmm. So first, second, no matter what it does, even I don't use my hands, packs out back fist, I close the gap, you can't hit me anymore. I just do the same, boom. So it doesn't work. Do you understand? Because one to the momentum is kaput. Like Uncle Bruce Lee, he did from 100% he had, which is down to 10% bad. Even I admire him, I like him very much. But this is the fact. If I do this, he's the Wing Chun guy. Whatever I do, you just, the hand is free, step forward and chain punch, okay? And I'm very fast. You see? Even I have no chance. You see? He's always there on the right time. That's the question which long thing you can do. <laughs> Not about fast and slow. This is what people do in other methods. They're all being there on the right time. Safe. Okay? Thank you very much.